Automation lanes have now been implemented in Samplitude Pro X4. Automation track mode is currently enabled. I have volume and pan automation turned on and you can see the yellow and blue automation lines. But there is now a new mode. If I click where it says track, it switches to lanes and object mode. The volume and pan automation has now been given individual lanes. Here's a working example. I'm switching automation to touch mode and opening the EFX phaser. When I begin playback, you will see that if I move any of the controls, automation will be automatically written and lanes created for each parameter. You can also change the order in which the automation lanes are placed. Click on the downward arrow at the right and choose a different automation type. To add an extra automation lane, click on the plus sign. This will add an empty lane. Then choose the automation parameter from the drop down list. You can remove an automation lane by clicking on the minus sign. To disable automation for individual lanes, click on the blue button to the left. The automation will show a dashed line to indicate it is turned off. To hide the automation lanes, click on the small downward arrow at the left of the track header. You can switch to old style track automation view by clicking to the right of the Show button where it says Lanes and Objects. This will then change to Track View and all automation will be overlaid on the audio object and the lanes hidden. Universal Mouse Mode has been given a nice enhancement to assist with automation editing. For example, if you want to make a volume change over a specific area, Draw a range and place the mouse over the automation line. It will then turn into a double headed arrow and you can adjust the level up or down within that range. Automation nodes are created automatically, so this is a big time saver. So that ends my overview of the new automation features in Samplitude Pro X4. I hope you found it useful. Until next time, all the best.